Hi everyone, for today's video I am finally sitting down to film my Black Friday haul. It is before 7am right now, so I do look a bit tired. Hopefully I don't look like this for the whole video. But the only Black Friday video that I watched this year was State of Kate's, and she put on her Black Friday purchases while she did her haul. So I do have two little baskets here with makeup from Black Friday that I'm gonna put on my face and then I have another one of like the extra items that I purchased that I'll talk about in this video and I have some other things that aren't beauty related but we are going to start with the makeup. I have to get ready for today. The only base product that I picked up was the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. I picked this up from Ulta. I believe a lot of their products, a lot of the Tarte products at Ulta were on sale for like 50% off or 40% off, somewhere around there. And I love trying new tinted moisturizers. And this one is in 25N Light Medium Neutral. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that with a brush. It has a pretty nice finish and application and coverage for a tinted moisturizer. It's pretty much exactly what you would expect. Not anything like super revolutionary, but I did pick this up because it was on sale. Yeah, I like trying new tinted moisturizers. Also, Tarte is a cruelty-free and vegan brand. I believe they're also vegan. If you've watched any of my recent makeup tutorials, you would know that right now I'm like not wearing concealer all that often, but because the coverage of this tinted moisturizer is like a true tinted moisturizer, I do want to get some extra coverage on my face, and for that I'm just going in with my Rare Beauty Concealer. Alright, that looks great for my skin. I really love the base. It's not like anything super dramatic, but it's just nice and clean looking and fresh and everything looks pretty good. The only other product from Tarte that I picked up during the Black Friday sale was the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. This is a backup for me. Uh, I love this mascara a lot. And during Black Friday, Ulta usually puts out a ton of high-end mascaras for like 10 bucks. And this was one of those mascaras, so I picked up a backup. Um, but yeah, that was the only other thing that I had got um, makeup-wise from Ulta. The next brand that I picked items up from was Live Tinted. Now, this is a pretty popular Instagram brand. I haven't really seen this brand too much on YouTube, but I've always been super interested in picking up products from this brand because they always look so beautiful and creamy and blendable. And I love easy stick products. Like these are meant for your face, lips, and eyes. So I just love the idea of that. It makes getting ready in the morning so easy. And especially when I know that the products are going to be high quality and just good. So the three colors that I picked up are Rise, True, and Grounded. This shade right here is Rise. This shade right here is true and then this shade right here is grounded. I was expecting true to be my pinky brown nude. It was pretty much the one on their website that looked the most pinky brown nude and my only issue with this shade is that it pulls a bit purple on my skin tone. However, I do love shades like that for my cheeks and I would really even wear it on my eyes. And I would wear it on my lips a bit, but it's not my like pinky brown nude that I always go for. And Rise is gorgeous. I would definitely would wear Rise on my cheeks and on my eyes. Um, probably just not my lips. But Grounded is perfect for my cheeks, eyes, and lips. I really like Grounded for if I am going to Put on like a nude lipstick I actually will line my lips with grounded and it just looks so pretty it's almost like a lip contour lip pencil um, but then you can use it to contour your face and use as eyeshadow so I'm going to apply some to the perimeter of my face now and use that as my bronzer and I'm just going in with my elf precision airbrush brush I believe it's called. I really need to just like ingrain the brush name in my head. But yeah, you can see with your own eyes just how beautiful that blended out and the color is so nice. And I'm just getting my nose. I always run a bit in my eye socket, but that's pretty much what I do with like any cream bronzer or just like bronzer in general. But yeah, this is such a beautiful 
beautiful shade. I can see myself getting a ton of use out of it. The only thing that I have an issue with with these products is the packaging. Although the packaging is so like, it's very beautiful. Like this shade of rose gold is so gorgeous. Um, and the, the products are heavy and really, really nice. But whatever material this is made out of, when they are like stacked together, they make the like most awful sound and feeling. Um, but that's really my only issue with these is that like maybe I can't like maybe store them next to each other. But um, it's all good. No biggie. And then the other live tinted item that I got is the Unity Balm Plus Gloss. And it I don't, I don't really know how to describe this product because it doesn't feel like hydrating at all. I want to say that they intend this product to be used like as an eye gloss or for your face or for your lips um, if you want like a glossy look but it's not really adding any hydration to my lips um, so I'm not really sure how I intend on using this product but I did want to pick it up to try. Unfortunately these next items I did not get on sale. Elf likes to do this thing where they release a lot of great new products and then put them in their new tab and they never ever run promotions on their new releases but I still really wanted to pick these up and if you guys already don't know about Rakuten, Rakuten is like my, I, I do not online shop without Rakuten. I know so many people talk about Honey, but I don't, like, Honey will never be Rakuten for me. This is totally also not sponsored at all. Rakuten does not know who I am. I've tried to sign up for their affiliate thing before and it, nothing ever happens with that. But Rakuten is freaking amazing. Not only does it also like source coupons for you, which I don't really use that feature too often because I usually already have a coupon ready or I will find one myself because I'm always not sure how like accurate those coupon finders are. I always feel like I can do a better job. But Rakuten offers cash back on so many places like Ulta lately for like the past few weeks has been 10% cash back and I just placed an order with my 20% off coupon and got 10% cash back like that's saving me so much money. Uh, anyway, Elf Cosmetics is pretty much always on Rakuten as well and I believe they were doing 15% cash back when I placed this order so at least I was able to save a bit of money that way. I will leave a link down below where you can sign up for Rakuten. It is going to be a referral link but it's not an affiliate link so if you wanted to go ahead and sign up for Rakuten and then share your own referral link, it's $20 for you and $20 for the person that signed up. So it's just like really great and all cool going around. But anyway, yes, I did place a purchase through e.l.f. Cosmetics and I picked up their putty blushes, which these have been available for quite some time now and I don't know why I just got around to trying these out because they are fabulous. I really, really enjoy them. These look super duper dark in the pot, but they end up sharing out to be so nice. But anyway, the three e.l.f. putty blushes I got are Bali, this one is Tahini, and then this one is Maldives. I really love Bali. It's just so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with Bali today. I do apply these blushes with my Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush. Someone recently commented on one of my videos um, asking me if this brush was the same brush in their new set. And if you guys have been following me for a while, uh, you guys know that I use this brush pretty much all the time, but that this brush is old, like so, so, so old, maybe like middle school old, but I just love it so much for cream products. It is the most perfect brush for cream products. I guess I'm seeing on Amazon, there's this like colorful one. The one brush in the middle looks like it would be this brush, um, but I don't know if it's going to be as good as this one. Oh my god, on eBay, the original brush set I just saw was being sold for $60. So yeah, that's what Bali looks like on my cheeks. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous blush color. I really, really like these, and I think that they look really, 
nice and natural. And then the other products from e.l.f. that I picked up are their new liquid metallic eyeshadows. These are a great dupe for the Stila shimmering glows. The e.l.f. glittery liquid eyeshadows are not a good dupe for the Stila glittering glows. The Stila glittering glows are just very impressive and very nice and have a great like shimmery to glitter ratio, whereas the e.l.f glittery liquid glittery eyeshadows those ones they just are a bit cheap like they don't have a good glitter to shimmer ratio they end up showing up a bit sheer they are not as long wearing however these are so nice and very much a good dupe for the stila shimmering glows i picked up mine in the shade galaxy moon and then this one is Comet. So swatched, I have Galaxy, Comet, and then Moon. These are all super gorgeous, very wearable, especially the Galaxy shade is a super nice, like, one and done eyeshadow, and then you just, like, wear the one eyeshadow, and then you have, like, a really nice, very subtle, smoky eye sort of thing going on. Um, today, I am going to use Comet. Comet has been my favorite shade. But I do need to pair it with an eyeshadow palette, and for that I'm going to be using the ColourPop Big Poppy eyeshadow palette. I picked this up from ColourPop along with a gift for Justin's sister. I am, I'll show you real quick. So Caitlin, if you're watching, please click off. But when I saw ColourPop restocked their Mandalorian palette, I wanted to get it for Caitlin. She is a big Star Wars fan, and how cute is Baby Yoda on the cover? I have not watched The Mandalorian, um, but I've I've heard good things. Um, but like, look how gorgeous that palette is. She doesn't wear makeup too too often, but I still felt uh, she would love something like this. You know, some of the colors in here are still pretty nice and wearable. But yes, I'm going to go in with my Big Poppy palette. It's all mattes, which I really like. I love getting all matte eyeshadow palettes because they are great to pair with items like this. But I am going to go in with Cali Love first. The only issue that I have with this eyeshadow palette is specifically that shade, the Cali Love shade, is so powdery. And it, it's not like that big of a deal. I just top off my brush and apply like light layers of it. But if this was my everyday eyeshadow palette, I simply would be out of that shade in like a month or two because it's so powdery. Like I just got this shade and I've already made a dent in it and I've used it three times four times maybe but yeah other than that i do like this palette a lot i'm going to go in a little bit with the shade dig it and i'm just taking that on like a smaller brush i need to clean my brushes because this was definitely used for something else recently but i'm just going with it and then on a small pencil brush i'm going to take Groovin and Wild Thing. I'm mixing these two darkest shades together. I'm just going to line my lash line with it. And then take one of the blending brushes that I used and just blend out that line. And then super duper easy, just Taking some of the e.l.f. eyeshadow and I am popping it right on my eyelid. And then I'm taking this little ColourPop brush and I am blending it out. I did also get a ColourPop brush to meet my $30 free shipping on their website. But I don't know where it is. I, I got it. Like, they sent it to me. So my order was complete, but I just, I don't know where I put it. But yeah, these shadows are amazing, like from e.l.f. These shadows are so good. Um, they, I, as you could see, I didn't put any primer on. I didn't do that step. And these shadows do last me pretty much all day. I obviously have a bit of like very minimal creasing, but once these guys set, they're 
on there and they're pretty crease proof which is good I can only imagine that wearing a primer would make them even more crease proof. I am going to go ahead and do my brows and my mascara off camera and then I'll be back to do the lips and show you guys what else I picked up for Black Friday. All right, so I have my brows and mascara on and the only other thing that I added was a bit of my NARS light reflecting powder, pressed powder, and then I did want to set my skin really quick um, and for that I'm just using my Kaja setting spray. So the last place that I picked up makeup from was M Cosmetics. I finally, finally got my hands on some M Cosmetics. I've never been really interested in the brand, but it's probably one of my highest requested brands to review. So I did take advantage of their 20% off sale. I held out. I was a bit worried that the Faded Clementine palette would be sold out, so I am glad that I waited and I was able to get it for 20% off. Um, but the Faded Clementine palette was the first palette that I had seen from M Cosmetics that I was like pretty interested in and I thought looked really beautiful. Um, and it is, it is very nice and very pretty. Um, if you guys want to see a little video of me using this, let me know, maybe I can put it on my Instagram story or something. Um, but yeah, it is very cute. But I also picked up an M Cosmetics Serum Blush. I, people tell me all the time to get these blushes and truthfully, I am so underwhelmed by these blushes. I had a feeling I wouldn't really love them the way that I love other cream blushes in my collection. And especially because for the longest time, they did not have a good shade range of these blushes. Then M Cosmetics released the Venetian Rose shade, and that was the first shade that I had been actually interested in and it's not the shade that's the issue. The shade is actually really beautiful and um, I like the deepness of it a lot. I just don't love how it looks on my cheeks. I feel it's a bit too, when you actually like get it on the cheeks, it's almost a bit too sheer and a bit too oily. I'll just kind of layer layer here um, but my real issue is the packaging i i never even thought twice about this packaging being annoying whenever i've seen it before nobody ever talks about how annoying the serum blush packaging is but it doesn't really make sense i don't know why companies insist on making things into droppers when they don't have to be. Like there is no reason why this can't have the same packaging as like my Daniel Sandler blushes or it could even be in a pump. It's not that thin, like I know it's a serum blush, but it's really not that thin. It's not thin enough to be in a dropper. Can't ever get like that much from the dropper. And then when you go to squeeze the dropper out, it's so hard to squeeze and it feels like I'm gonna push it right out of my hand. I could see how if you are in a rush, this blush can get messy. Yeah, the color is really pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit on my lips just to see. I actually really like that color on my lips. That looks pretty. I could see uh, maybe liking this blush a little bit more on days that I'm actually not wearing any face makeup and I just want some color on my cheeks and a bit of product in my brows, a little bit of mascara, and like a tinted lip balm or even just put this on my lips as well. I could really see myself liking this product for like if I was wearing nothing underneath of it, but I don't love how it like sits over top of my complexion products because it is a bit oily to me. Um, but yeah, I'm just not a fan of the M Cosmetics Serum Blush. But then the other two products I picked up from M Cosmetics are lip products. This one right here is the Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizer, and this is also in Venetian Rose. I will go ahead and apply this for you as well, but that's not going to be like the lip product I wear for today. Uh, this is cute and it feels nice and it looks pretty. 
My only thing with this though is that if this was my everyday lip product, I would be out of it in a month. It takes up so much product, like it's so soft and buttery, but you end up using a lot of it because it is so soft and buttery. Uh, and I can see for a lot of people how a product like this would be someone's like everyday lip color. So yeah, that is just something to take into consideration that if you find your everyday shade in this, you probably will go through it kind of fast. For my lips today, I am going to be going in with the um, Cosmetics. I, I guess this is like their liquid lipstick. Um, it doesn't have the proper name on it, but it is in the shade Morning Mocha. On the website, this looked way more deep and brown, although I do love the color it came in. I just wanted to throw that out there that it looked very different online. And I'm going to apply it for you here. Although, I just wanted to get a little bit on my lips just to show you the color. It's really pretty. Like, this is a color type that I would wear every day. But I wanted to go in with my live tinted, grounded stick and apply a little bit on the perimeter and then add a bit more of my M Cosmetics liquid lipstick and that's what that looks like I think it looks gorgeous kind of matches my sweater really good so I just picked up a couple of other things from Ulta I got the first aid beauty body wash in vanilla cookie and this just smells very lovely I'm pretty sure it was only like eight dollars for this huge bottle so I picked this up because I like having body wash backups and then I picked up a new shampoo and conditioner for Black Friday one of the things that I definitely wanted was shampoo and conditioner and I have been loving the Curlsmith brand and all of their products for Black Friday on Ulta were 40% off. So I picked up the deep conditioner and I also picked up the co-wash. My hair is not looking good right now because I just did like unnecessary things to it last night and I should not have slept on it but whatever. All that aside I I hope this is my forever shampoo and conditioner because I have been loving it. I did not think I was going to like a co-wash as much as I like this, um, but it's phenomenal. It's so good. It surprisingly makes my hair feel so voluminous and thick and it cleans my hair. I usually have quite a bit of like dandruff and dead skin, which I just figured was like just my hair. But I think incorporating this conditioning wash into my hair routine, it's really changed, changed the game for me. And my hair is just drying so much nicer than it was before. So yeah, I just really love, 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 love these products. And then I did pick up some items from Coco Kind. They were the only skincare brand that I picked up stuff from. I picked up their scrubbing clay in shower body scrub. I'm excited to try this. I love body scrubs and Coco Kind makes some really nice products. So I'll be happy to try that. And then I also picked up their matcha face moisturizer. I've used this one time and it was so nice and thick. It was just what I wanted. So I am excited to incorporate that into my skincare routine. And then I also picked up their oil to milk cleanser. Uh, I'm sure I will really enjoy this in the winter when my skin is a little bit more tight and dry. Pretty sure I got these three items in a set, but I also got the Glow Essence with Sea Grape Caviar. And I don't know, for bright, even, and hydrated skin. I should probably be using that every day. And then I also got a rose water toner. It's just like a spray. And then I got the turmeric tonic leave on spot treatment for bright, clear skin. I have a couple of scarring on my chin that I would like to take care of. And I figured I would try out this guy. The only other thing that I got, which 
is a pretty pretty hefty order but I placed a huge order on Stasher. These are reusable bags and they have really cut down on my single use plastic. These are not all for me. I bought a lot of these for gifts uh, for mainly for my sister and Justin's sister and then I also picked up some for myself. They were having up to 30% off their whole site and I have not seen Stasher on sale like that before. So I knew I needed to get some and I wanted to give some to my sister and Caitlin because I think that they would appreciate these and they're really easy and they have a lot of different sizes like this one and we put like meatballs in here one time and froze them and they and it was perfect this is a great little snack bag they also have um ooh, these bags stand up which is cool i don't have ones like these yet and then you have like bags like this where it's just a nice little sandwich bag and yeah these are just perfect they are dishwasher safe which makes cleanup very easy they are freezer safe they're microwave safe I'm pretty sure they are like the sous vide safe I don't know stasher bags are just freaking amazing and I have not taken a ziploc bag to work yet this year like I don't plan on it because I have my stasher bags but I have been able to eliminate single-use Ziploc bags even though I pack my lunch every day for work it just feels really good to be able to do that and it also is nice to be able to gift that to somebody else so I really wanted to pick up some bags from Stasher for gifts and for myself but that is everything that I got from Black Friday I picked up a bunch of different things from different places but yeah, that is everything that I got, my big haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what your best Black Friday pickup was. I would love to hear it. I would love to know the deal that you got. Thanks again so much for watching today's video. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. And hopefully I see you next time.